Hey, thanks for coming back to my vlog. Today I'm going to discuss something I didn't mention in the first one. Is that uh, I'm going to talk about comments. First of all, I want to let you know all comments are welcome, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, and I will try to respond to co any comments if I can. Uh, <clears throat> But the one thing I request, and hopefully you will honor my request, if you do make a comment, good or bad, I don't care. I'll take all comments, I'll take the criticism, because we all don't agree on everything. But please, please, I ask, no foul language. That's the only thing I ask. You want to make a bad comment about me? Go right ahead. I don't mind. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Because I had bad things said about me in the past. So I expect in the future I'll have some bad things said about me in the, as well, so. Anyhow, as you can probably tell the way I'm talking, it's, none of this is scripted. It's trickling off the top of my head as we go. But again, the last thing I want to say about comments, make your comments fine. Love to hear them, love to read them good, bad, or indifferent, but please, my only request, please, no foul language. We don't need to do that sort of thing. Use your vocabulary. Don't use, anyhow, enough for that. Let's move on. I had an idea for future vlogs. Right now, I, it's too cold for me to go outside, so that's, but I think in the future, what I like to do and what I attempt to do is go out. I don't go downtown. And the downtown I'm talking about is downtown Salem. And try to do uh, some, some of my vlogs from down there. And when I say downtown Salem, I mean not only just downtown, but I mean going out to Winter Island, maybe do one or two vlogs from there. It's beautiful out there on Winter Island. Also, maybe early spring before all the arcades and crap open up, go down to the Willows and uh, do some vlogs down there. I find the best time to go down there is early morning, especially in the good weather, before all the crowds start to show up. It's beautiful down there. And, and because of my situation a lot of times, I can't get down there as often as I like. But uh, anyhow, that's my, that's my game plan coming up for right now. It's still a little too chilly for me to go out. So I stay in the house. And uh, we'll continue vlogging from here in my easy chair. Well, I'd say, do you call them easy chairs? I don't know what to call them easy. There's nothing easy about it. Try to move it, it's not easy. Try to pay for it, it's not easy. So. <laughs> Why well, they call them easy chairs, I don't know. That's a, that's a story for another time for somebody else to tell me. So anyhow, that's my game plan for coming up on future vlogs. And uh, I appreciate you watching them because it's always nice to know I have viewers out there. Uh, even though I don't say anything profound, I have nothing profound to say. No insights or anything like that. And uh, because I'm just an average guy who lives in somewhat of an average life, life I guess. And uh, well, I'll tell a little bit, a little, some personal things about me, maybe. You might be interested, I don't know. So, but uh, for one thing, my wife and I, we decided not to have any children. So we don't have, I don't have any child, kids. So it's, it's uh, me against the world, I guess. But uh, anyhow, it's, well, I say me against the world, but I don't think so. I, have a, I know a lot of people, and there are a lot of good people that, that do help me out. So I got no complaints. But even if I did complain, nobody cares. So about compl you complain, nobody wants to hear it. We all have our problems. I fully understand that. So. We just do the best we can and 
complain about our problems. Oh, it might make us feel a little bit good once in a while, I suppose, complain about it, but uh, not on a regular basis. Because we all have problems, we all have to deal with it the best we can. So I know people that are worse off than me, and uh, so my problem is really not that bad. Well, first of all, with people who don't know me that well, I have emphysema to the point where, as you can probably tell, it's hard for me to even, even talk because I have to inhale so much. To, but uh, so I'm on this uh, oxygen, the O2, has this tube that chases me around the house. And uh, when I go out, I have a portable unit that I carry with me, which provides me some oxygen when I'm out. So that's why I'm able to go outside. And uh, so anyhow, enough about that. Now, I know there's people worse off than me. Oh, I just want to make one other quick comment. Okay, my emphysema, if you're wondering, I'm probably not, but I'm just going to tell you anyhow. I believe it's caused by my smoking. I don't smoke anymore. I haven't smoked in over 10 years, but uh, I did smoke two packs a day plus for over 40 years. I think that's what did it. People say, oh no, it's air pollution, other factors. I say, yeah, maybe other factors, but it's my smoking that caused my problem. So I have nobody to blame but myself. Can't blame the tobacco companies. Because yeah, they advertised it and pushed it, but they didn't put that cigarette in my mouth, I did. So all I can say to you people out there, and this is the last I'll talk about it, is the fact that don't smoke. If you do smoke, try to quit. Don't try to quit, quit, period. I did it, you can do it. it took me a year, I went cold turkey. So that's a good subject I'll talk about a little bit because it's, it's kind of funny a little bit in some ways, in some ways it isn't. Because my wife smoked as well. She went through a pack of cigarettes a day, but she only smoked half of them. She smoked those 120 long things, and they were very long, and she smoked about half of it, put it down in the ashtray and go out, and then when she had one another cigarette, she'd take a brand new one. She never relit the half stuff that she started, but she went through a pack a day. She didn't smoke a pack a day, but she went through a pa about a pack a day. So she really smoked about a half a pack a day. Money-wise, it's the same cost, it doesn't matter. That's another thing, the reason to quit. The cost of cigarettes today is so expensive. My wife had a $12 a day habit smoking. But I smoked too, so I can't complain. And I didn't try to make, I didn't make her quit, I told her, I to see her quit, but I couldn't make her quit. She had to decide on her own, and she, she never did decide on it. She wanted to, but she never really, she did and she didn't. Anyhow, but anyhow, what I want, was, my point I'm trying to make is that when I decided I wanted to try to quit smoking, is I basically, in the beginning, I stopped buying cigarettes. Not, I didn't quit smoking, I quit buying. And what I was doing, find myself doing, I was stealing the half a butts that my wife didn't smoke in the ashtray. I was saving those, and I was starting to smoke those. And this has been on for four, five, six months. And I found I was sitting one time at, at lunchtime at work, and I said to myself, this is stupid. And I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna go back to smoking the brand of cigarettes I was smoking. I'm not gonna steal butts and smoke somebody else's butts. And at that time, I said to myself, self, I'm going to stop smoking. I quit. And the minute I said I quit, and these cigarettes I had with me, they got trashed. They all got trashed. And from that day on, I haven't touched another cigarette. Well, I have touched cigarettes, but not to my lips. I've held cigarettes with people at a distance, but uh, you know, one time my wife wanted me to light a cigarette. So I'll light, you put it in your mouth and I'll light it for you, but it's not going in my mouth. And I never, from that day on, once I decided, once I said I quit, threw out the butts I had, I never smoked another cigarette since. And even though, here I am 10 years plus later, 
down the road. Every once in a while, my brain says to me, hey, go ahead, light up. You, you, you beat it, you don't have a smoke, just to please yourself. But I always say no to myself. So it's something that probably never go away. But anyhow, that's the story. That's how it quit. Took me about a year to do it, six months to a year, but I did it. So I kind of pat myself in the back a little bit. And that's the last time I gave myself self-praise. Okay. So if I can do it, I feel if you smoke, you can quit it if you want to. First step is, like anything else, you have to want to do it. All the patches, gums, and other stuff that's out there to help you stop smoking, they won't make you stop. They'll help you stop, but they won't by themselves will not make you stop smoking. You have to want to stop smoking. So anyhow, that's my PSA. No more said about it, and I'm gonna move on. Thanks for watching. Look for more of my vlogs coming on the near future.